Hi, welcome to our video series on nursing's neuro assessment. Now we're gonna learn so much about patients in just this simple type of assessment. So I'm gonna walk you through each step of what every nurse needs to know about how to assess a patient's neurological system. Now let's get into some terminology first. You'll see the term LOC. We abbreviate a lot of things in nursing and in the medical field, but that just means level of consciousness. And we're gonna look at mentation. So when we're talking about neuroassessment, that's what we're looking at, level of consciousness, or LOC, and mentation. So we're gonna look at how the patient moves, what they can feel, that sensation, and their reflexes. Ready? All right, let's get started. Now there's some standardized tools that we use in nursing. One is the National Institute of Health Stroke Scale. That's if we're trying to see what's going on with a possible stroke patient. Also, you'll see the Glasgow Coma Scale, or GCS. So you've got the NIHSS, and a lot of times we will just abbreviate it to that, but now you know that's what it means, or the Glasgow Coma Scale, GCS. Okay, so the Glasgow Coma Scale is based on three patient responses. Now, this is kind of fun because you can practice this on your roommate or one of your friends and kind of see what their Glasgow Coma Scale would be. So it's three patient responses, eye opening, verbal response, and motor response. Now, how you can remember this is it's three words, Glasgow Coma Scale, and we're looking at the eyes, the mouth, and the motor response opening, verbal response, and motor response. Now, we've shown you the numbers there because patients get a score because you assess them and give it to them for their best response in each one of these areas. Then you add the three scores together. So we'll look at their eyes, we'll look at their verbal response, and we'll look at their motor response, and we give them a score. Add them together, and that is their total Glasgow Coma Scale score. Now it has a range from three to 15. Well, that should make sense, right? Because if you add up, if you gave them a one, one, and a one, uh, they would be dead. But if you gave them a one, one, and a one, that would be a score of three. If we added four, five, and six together, that would be 15. So when we say three to 15, that kind of gives you an idea and a reference of what we're talking about. The higher the number, the better. That's why I said if you get all ones, that's really good in golf, not very good in the Glasgow Coma Scale. So the higher the number, the better. Now a score less than eight usually indicates a coma. So make sure you write a note to yourself that the higher the score, the better. So say 15, put a thumbs up or a star by it. And remember that a score less than eight usually indicates coma, okay? And we're gonna define coma for you a little bit later. That's a really, really bad sign. So a score of less than eight indicates coma. That means the patient probably can't breathe on their own, so they're gonna have to be intubated, where we put a special tube in their mouth and down into their airway, and we connect them to a mechanical ventilator. So someone with a score less than eight usually cannot breathe on their own. We're gonna to have to intubate them and put them on a ventilator. Okay, so how many times did I repeat those things? I know, but remember, repetition is your friend when you're learning new concepts. So we know we score on three things. It can go from three to 15, the higher, the better, and a score of less than eight means big trouble, likely to be intubated and put on a mechanical ventilator.